In this video, we're going to discuss how you can obtain financial aid from federal, state, institutional, and outside sources to help you pay for your graduate school education. So although the federal government in the U.S. doesn't quite provide as much in terms of grants and subsidized loans to graduate students as it does to undergraduate students, there are still some types of aid available, particularly if you are a teacher and you're doing a post-baccalaureate teacher certification program, then you might still be eligible for a Pell Grant. However, if you don't meet that qualification, you will not be able to get a Pell Grant as a graduate student. Also, if you're a teacher and you plan to teach four out of the next eight years after you finish school as a highly qualified teacher at a low-income school or educational agency in a high-need area, then you can get up to $4,000 a year from a TEACH grant. And if you don't end up teaching and do it, it just converts to an unsubsidized loan. So for teachers, you've got a couple of really nice grant opportunities. For everybody else, however, there are no federal grants available, but you can still get federal work study. Remember, work study is where you work a certain number of hours, let's say 10 hours a week or something. You work at the campus library or it could be off campus, and then you get this guaranteed funding. So work study could be a great option for you. Also, you can still get a Perkins loan as a graduate student, although a very small percentage of graduate students obtain Perkins loans. You can get a lot of direct unsubsidized loans. And unsubsidized, remember, you are responsible for the interest from day one. It's not government subsidized. The government's not paying it while you're in school. However, the loan cap is much higher for grad students than it is for undergraduate. So you can get a lot more in terms of loans to help you finance your education. And if you, if you max out on unsubsidized loans and you still need help with your education, you can get a Grad Plus loan. Remember the Parent Plus loans that parents could get for undergrads? Well, graduate students can get their Grad Plus loan. It's a similar, basically the same program, but for graduate students. Now, you may, and I stress may, be able to get funding from the state in which you'll be attending college. So you should check and see if your state has any grants or any loans for graduate students. Never hurts to check. Now, one of the best sources of aid for graduate school is from the college itself, institutional aid. Because your college might have grants, scholarships, or loans specifically for graduate students, right? So they might have a scholarship that's just for graduate students, not for undergraduate. And also, though, if just leaving aside grant scholarships and loans, a great source of funding is assistantships. And if you don't know what an assistantship is, there's, there's basically two types, teaching and research assistantships. And I'll just give you a quick example of how it works. So let's say you get a teaching assistantship. You'd be called a TA. And so the TA, it, it varies from, but from college to college. But you might get something where you get free tuition, you get free tuition, and then let's say 800 bucks a month, and call that your stipend. And, and so, so that could be a great deal for you, right? Maybe they don't have a scholarship, but you're getting free tuition, you get 800 bucks a month, and then you work 15, 20 hours a week, something like that. So you work 20 hours a week, and you're helping an instructor grade exams, grade homework, stuff like that. So that's, that's a TA. Now, all schools are different, right? Some schools might say, look, we're not going to give you a tuition waiver, which is what they call it when they give you free tuition. We're not going to give you a tuition waiver. We'll give you just, we'll, we'll just pay you per hour. We just pay our TA 15 bucks an hour or something like that. So you should check with your school, but definitely look and see for, for a master's or a PhD program, many colleges offer teaching assistantships. Research assistantships are basically have the same types of benefits as TA, where you could get a tuition waiver potentially, a stipend, etc. You almost always see doctoral students; they're doing their PhD and they they're working as a research assistant. You you could be collecting data for professors, helping them with their research projects. You're almost like an apprentice, right? You're working under faculty members and learning about research, but basically helping them. You're basically low paid labor for them to help them get more research out. So RAs, which is a research assistantship, and TAs are a wonderful, excellent way for you to pay for grad school, particularly if you don't have any grant scholarships, opportunities, or anything like that. You can also get uh, aid potentially from an outside agency. For example, if there is a foundation 
maybe there's some, some particular fellowship that you find that, hey, you need a certain GPA as an undergrad and you need this and you need that. And you've done, you met the qualifications, you write an essay, and you're awarded a fellowship to study graduate school at a university. So there might be some kind of foundation that, that awards something. Or you might have even your employer. So if you're working particularly in business right now, you might check and see if your employer has any kind of tuition assistance program to help you go to night school to get an MBA or something like that. Definitely want to see if your employer is willing to do that. Now, in some cases, they'll make they'll have to kind of lock you in for, say, two years or three years. If you get that degree after you graduate, they want to make sure that you work at least two or three or four years at the for that employer after you get the degree they don't want to just pay for you to get the degree and then you just walk away and say hey thanks so they they will kind of lock you in with that and if not then you have to repay them but if you plan on working for this if you're willing to work for this employer a few more years and they have a tuition assistance program it's a great way to pay for your education